I would imagine having to go through a rehab situation, yet two rehab assignments, Potomac and Harrisburg, and then working and working and working to get back to pitch. Had to be, I'm sure, frustrating at times, but the toughness of your mental state had to play a lot into you coming back. It's definitely a tough time to go through, no matter what injury you have. Uh, you really have to stay positive with it. It really helps in the recovery, uh, from what I found. And, and uh, you know, a lot of it, you have to stay positive for, for the teammates around you. You know, you're, you're still around the teammates. You're still here for uh, the in and the, the days in and days out uh, while you're not on the field. And so you really have to become a teammate, you know, uh, with these guys off the field so that when you come back, you're, you're ready to go. Uh, I've been itching to play and, and itching to go. So uh, it, it's definitely been a long road, but uh, looks good so far. What was the most important thing in rehabbing? Innings pitched, pitch count to get your stamina back up? I think that was the biggest thing was the fact of uh, uh, building back up to five innings. You know, it, the, the injury was uh, pretty well gone pretty quickly, but it's a matter of getting back out there every five days and being able to pitch again. When you look at what you've done in your career, last year a career high, 14 wins, another 200 inning season, and looking at your numbers, you don't walk anybody. You don't give up any home runs. You keep the ball in the park. All you do is win. Not a bad combination. <laughs> you know, I, I, I find this as a team game, and, and that's, uh, that's my main focus. I mean, utilizing defense behind me, going up there, uh, keeping a quick uh, tempo between each pitch, and, and really just making them try. I'm trying to make them hit it. I'm trying to make uh, our defense, you know, show just how good they are. We've got a lot of Gold Glove guys out there, and, and a lot of candidates for it, and and they've they've shown that. You know, they go out there, flash the leather, and, and they they can play some great defense, and and that's something that uh, uh, really makes my job easier if I can utilize that. And a lot of pitchers just go out there and try to throw the ball back past the batter, strike out as many guys as they can. You pitch to contact. That's my that's my goal. You know, the first three pitches, I want to have some sort of bad contact uh, and get the out. It, it allows possibly to go deeper in a game, uh, you know, and then using uh, a less bullpen guys. You know, they've, they've been getting a lot of work lately, and, and uh, you know, that, that's something that, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to, to be able to hopefully give them a break. Doug, since this is the first time with your own Masson with us, let's talk a little bit about growing up in your high school days. You went to the same high school your dad went to, or same uh, college. Cross town. Uh, the college I went to, you know, same college, and then I actually went to Fresno State again, uh, same as he did. Uh, so, so we had those things in common, and it's it's something that we've shared over the years, uh, you know, uh, different stories and events that we've gone through. But uh, growing up in a small town, uh, followed in, in a lot of his footsteps and, and, and been involved uh, in a lot of the things he's involved in. When did you put aside the uh, the opportunity or thinking about possible for a career, maybe police work like some of your family's in, or maybe construction, something like that? Baseball, a little bit better for you. You know, it, it's I've, I've definitely been blessed over the years. Um, you know, I didn't uh, didn't turn just to baseball until you know the, that final day as, as, as being drafted. Um, you know, I went to college. I went ahead and, and stayed through my senior year, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm very close to getting my degree. I think I'm three classes away. So, uh, you know, those kind of things are very important to me. I still want to go back and get that degree. Um, you know, those are the the life lessons that that can't be taught, but uh, you just have to go through and learn. And um, you know, it's it's something that uh, uh, you, you never stop learning. You know, I, I, I do someday want to you know possibly teach or coach or, or uh, be a part of something uh, something bigger. You will learn a lot when you walk down the aisle in November. You'll learn a lot then, <laughs> and that's on the radar, right? It is. Uh, looking to get uh, you know the weddings in, in November, and, and looking forward to that opportunity. Um, you know, I, I'm very happy, and uh, I have the experiences of, of you know happiness with Ashley, and, and uh, you know the time she gets to come out and, and uh, watch the games while she, when she's not teaching. So you pitch on Friday night against the Oakland A's, a team you are familiar with from the American League. What a nice way to make your debut. Familiarity. Yeah, you know, I get to put off the hitting for one more start, I guess, but uh, uh, you know, it is familiarity. I'm going to have some family and friends at the game, as always, in Oakland. Uh, it's somewhere I, I've play, pitched quite a bit, um, so it's just a matter of going out there and executing. Uh, being familiar with, with those hitters, the defense, the field, all the different things that uh, come into play is something that uh, you know, it, it, makes, it makes it easier to, to have the familiarity, so it's a matter of just going out there and executing. Doug, thanks for your time very much. We wish you nothing but the best Friday night and the entire season. Thank you so much.